Hey Michigan Outdoors, John Cruz here and I've got in my hand a little hover rig. And this is the, the hover missile uh, version of it right here. Uh, it's very popular, very new technique. I'm going to show you how to rig this. You see this, it looks beautiful, it looks easy. Not the easiest thing to rig. That's why I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. I've got a Spunk Shad 3, 3.5 three inch from Missile Baits and then I've got a pack of the, the hover missiles in a 16th ounce. Uh, there's various sizes and various uh, weights depending on what you want to do with it. The 16th is, a, is a kind of a good place to start uh, for catching those fish a little higher in the water column. You're going to see a toothpick in here. Uh, we'll show you what that's for in just a second, but you're just going to kind of measure it up and you're going to want to put, you're going to want to rig it as far forward as you can get it. So like kind of right in, on, the, on this bait, it's going to be just right in front of where those ribs start and you're going to go down right in the middle, go down a portion just like that, and then you're going to turn it 90 degrees with that hook point, and then go right down the middle of the bait. Now I got to look, look at it to make sure it stays straight, but you want to make sure that thing stays straight as you rig it down through the middle of that bait. You can see it's going to be coming out right in there and then you're going to really need to moisten it. I'm going to use the old saliva. Slide that up, slide it back, slide it up, slide it back, get that. You're going to put that head right in front and then you're going to pull it so that thing gets a little bit straighter. And then the toothpick comes in so once you get it where you want it, that little hole in that fin, there's a little hole in that fin right there. So I'm going to push up the plastic just a little bit in order to, to grab a little bit of plastic, then slide it through that, that little hole right there. You kind of have to feel around in there to get it. I don't have my glasses on either, which is not helping the situation. But you're going to push it in there so that it wedges in there. You're going to take your, your scissors, clip that off, and then you'll be, you'll be good to go. So you clip that, clip that off, then that, that thing is locked in there. It is uh, ready to be fished, and that's how you rig the hover, the hover head. As far forward as possible, there it is.